Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone, and recently I picked up this. This is an old uh, collector showcase from, ooh, I think 1979. We'll prop it up. It looks a bit uh, cheap and nasty to be honest, but uh, I want to see how good it looks when I fill it. I have a picture on the box. The box didn't come with this from the uh, seller. Even the box in this photo is a bit worse for wear, but it does give me the information I need. So let's fill it and see if we can pep it up a bit. It's got some holes and some uh, slight damage to it. I think it's been used for its intended use way back when by some little boy or girl. First one. It's the Blaze Buster, that's right. I always forget the name. I do a few uh, fire engine specials on this show when I can, when I have some fresh material. And there are so many names Matchbox and Mattel in general has given to the various fire engines. So, so many castings, but this is the best. Blaze Buster, what number was that? Uh, number 22 unpainted base made in England as it should be gee these were great rollers weren't they so we'll pop that up and I'll give you another look at that as we go so we'll put him up there hopefully the way I'm going to do it isn't going to make it top heavy and make the whole thing crash down um, how are those lights working for you should we manoeuvre? Is that going to make it too dark? Probably. No, I'll bring that back. Alright, it's the first time I've done one with this kind of shot. So we'll see how we go. Feels like it needs propping up. No, that's fine. Alright, onwards and upwards. Second one is the ambulance. Again, one of the best ambulances. Maybe I'm just biased. Maybe it's my generation. Hmm. I love this thing. Now this is a replacement to the stretcher fetcher. Remember that old thing? And we went kind of general hospital, didn't we? With this shape. Uh, they just call it an ambulance. But I think it's like a GMC type thing, isn't it? Huge lump of a thing. To get a variation of this, it's just all about the sticker. But that's the same one in the photo, so I've used this one today. Magic. There's about five kilos up there already, so top heavy might be an issue. Third one is this, and this kind of mesmerized me as a kid because of how it swivels when you do the upsy downsy. It's got a plastic base, but Huge amount of metal on this. It's the Sambron Jacklift, 1977 copyright. Now this is one of only two I'm going to show you today that didn't appear in the 1978 catalog. But um, we'll get to the other one in a second. Just fits, it's a big thing. Fourth one, and the last one on the top row, is this old beast. So much weight to these old things. Unpainted metal base on this one. It's got the super fast logo as well. And ooh, that's right. It was the Atlas. Chrome interior. Strangely tinted window. And it appears that that's the same tint. Maybe that doesn't have a tint, but to my eye. And that's the age-old problem we had, wasn't it? Trying to figure out exactly what they were showing us in the photo, because the photos weren't digital. No zoom ability back in those days. It was as good as your eye. Strange little way to carry a line. And this the fifth one. Again, unpainted base, wildlife truck. I 
think that says 1957. You might be able to catch it in the light. This is a rollomatic, so we'll take that off for a second. See if we can get that line to run round in a circle of agitation. It's got an elephant on the hood. Pop that back on. No wonder he's running around. Looks like he's missing his foot. It's not, but it's just the way the, the mold looks. Um, these are all facing the same way, so I'll keep it keep it going. Uh, number five. This kind of goes with the jack lift. Now this isn't the original rubber band. It's a much thinner version, and uh, it's one of the perils of collecting old stuff. That rubber band will stick to that paint and then rip it off when you try and rip it off. Fragile spares on the crate. Nineteen seventy seven and oh I would be guessing, but I think it's sixty six. Again you've got a much better view than I Loving those wheels. Everything about this is just fantastic. They never brought out, as far as I'm aware, they never brought out a different colour of that. There might be some Bulgarian or even Hungarian castings. They just went ape on the colours. Next one on this cabinet is the Dragon Wheels. Lifts up, props up. I've done quite a few versions to ways this up. 1972 on the base of this one. And, um, wow, well, it's out of 43, let's guess. Great old casting. Most recent version of this is in the Mattel Creations. And they did a stunning job of it. Really nice. Now this one, have we, are we there yet? No, not quite. Almost jumped a row. Gee whiz. Out. Here's another Roller Maddox in the kind of Range Rover. It is based on a Range Rover. Police vehicle. Um, police patrol, they called it. And the cherry zips around. Many, many variants of this one as well. Some only for the US market, but many others for the rest of the world. But that is the original. Goes up there, and then third row, we're on to caravan and camping. <laughs> With the strange little door. They carried that concept through to the Motor home, didn't they? The mobile home or RV. Big slab of a thing. Imagine throwing this at your brother. Number 31, Clara's Day. Yeah. Certain cars that hitch went very well with, and other cars not so much. But uh, you tried them all. I'm not surprised that this thing, this is obviously an original, I'm not surprised it has damage to the plastic because the plastic's so thin and these cars are so heavy. It's, uh, yeah. This one's a bit knocked about, but it's the only one I have. It's the Golf uh, with surfboards. See what I mean about the, the photos versus the real thing? That looks like a beautiful green, but that's the real thing. Also went to yellow and silver, didn't it? It lost its surfboards when it went to silver, I think. But, um, yeah, first board, surfboards were the first thing to get lost. Number seven on the base, VW Golf. Sweet. Now, this one here, where are we? Step forward, young fella. It's the tractor shovel. 
when I was uh, getting all these cars out for this video I instinctively went for the one roughly that color um, where are you? there I thought yeah that's it pop it in the tray next to my stool for the, uh, the show but no that color they they started to match up all their construction vehicles about 1982 this one is from 1982 the one on the left is actually the original. Strange. Your memory changes over time, doesn't it? So, strange thing in our tiny minds. Plastic base, but it's only a little sliver of a base. All the rest is metal on that body. And of course the plastic shovel and engine and interior. 29. Sweet. Lots of construction vehicles in the 70s and uh, weird things like this. Not exactly 164, is it? But I think everybody had one of these. Car transporter number 11. You're probably shouting at the TV saying, no, you dipstick, it's number... I think it's number 11. Purpley blue windows, no interior. But you do get those fine examples of motor cars on top and in the guts. So we'll pop him there. That's the first half. Um, second one leads on with a bus. It's the Berger Paints bus. And again, the variants all came down to those stickers. Very cheap thing to do for Matchbox or Lesney at the time. But um, must be a hundred of these around with different stickers on them. Is that the first one I've shown today with a painted base? I think the rest were plastic bases, weren't they? Yeah, it's kind of hybrid, isn't it? But yeah, it's got a plastic, um, a painted metal base. Pop in there. And back to the construction side of things, I didn't think this was a real vehicle until I saw a show called Grand Designs. It's a UK show, although there are uh, there are um, other countries' versions of Grand Designs. It used to be my favourite show, but they've taken it off here. I think it was the whole COVID thing. It takes an age to film these things, and uh, COVID doesn't didn't make it worth their while. So they've canned it for a bit. I think missed that show, but that's the first place I saw uh, somebody using one of these curious-looking tipper. Now I know it's not a fantasy vehicle. It's the side tipper. Number 26. <laughs> Don't know. Maybe put him next to the bus where he belongs. Next one is the Burma tanker. Curious looking fellow. Um, technically two pieces or moving parts maybe. Freeway gas tanker. Awesome. I had a fleet of the cabs because the trailers usually got lost or stood on or whatever. But um, yeah, when I was a kid, I had every colour that they made out of, the, out of that little cab. Does he fit? Only just. It says so in the photo, but we all know about the accuracy of these photos. Little tractor. Sure, this would have made a noise, more noise if it had have started. Um, just called it the tractor. Yeah, very beefy hook. Could tell anything, couldn't it? Shoe. Your cat. Had a lot of fun with that. Uh, oh, got another truck. Where are you? Come here. Speaking of cabs of different colours, it's the yellow one. Half the garden went in that, didn't it? Um, what do they call this trailer? Articulated truck. All meant to be part of the same piece. 1973 on both of them. Mm. Mm. Can't see a copyright on the trailer. Definitely sold together. 
red windows or sort of an orangey window on that one compared to the other. Pop him in there. As long as my arms are, I'm still bumping the camera, sorry about that. A maroon ute. Yeah, motorbikes included. Wow. Wow. Unpainted base. It's sort of tarnished over the years. Or maybe it hasn't. Maybe that was how it popped out of the machine. 1977 copyright. Super fast. I think... No, not all of these had super fast. I'm sure the caravan couldn't have. I have to check now. See how hours get lost? It is. How is that a super fast? Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, hours get lost by checking and going over things 15 times and double checking and forgetting. Pop in there. Next one, going back to construction. Big old crane has all sorts going on. It's got the red hook. The variants are different color windows, different color hook, different color boom. Stickers here, there, and everywhere. Another very cheap one to update. Yeah, these are all super fast. Okay. Sometimes I. Uh, did we take a look at this? No. I was about to say sometimes I get sidetracked. <laughs> crane truck is its handle. We'll pop them him in there because he's quite fidgety this one. It's got so many moving parts. Um, next, oh yeah I like this one. See in the photo the little doodacky on the roof radar thingy. To my eye that is unpainted but you know you see but it did come out in variants, didn't it? This one's the chromed doodacky. You see? I'm thinking it's the unpainted one. A little bit dusty, this one. This was uh, bought not that long ago in a collection. Didn't know what I was buying. And uh, took me a while to go through it because it was quite a big collection to figure out what I did and didn't have. And uh, this one actually replaced one I had because the one I had was really badly banged up. This one's got a tiny chip on it here and there, but uh, it's pretty okay considering what we usually use these for. It was the battering, battering ram for roadblocks, wasn't it? 73, they called it the Badger, of course they did. The Badger. Last row already. It's the container truck. This is another one of those ones that came with a lackey band and um, really destroyed the paintwork. Sits nicely on, but doesn't clip on or anything. Nothing in there to see. See land on the side. Dust on the windows. Been through a <laughs> bit of a dust storm by the look of it. Yeah, great old truck. Mercedes container truck. Truck. Lesney products. And is that 76? Hmm. Such a great old casting. They did hang on to that one for a little bit. And he's starting our last row. Oops, there he goes. Good on you, mate. And then we went a little bit weird. I was never into this one because of the scale, I think. And, um, yeah. Did that have blue tint in the photo? I think so. There's a red tint as well, but that certainly appears to be blue. And it's the sea sprite, I think. Yeah. Number 75. So last one in the catalogue of 78, I think. I think that was the first year. Did I tell you the year? Hmm. 
zero six zero eight might be a six, but in the seventy eight catalog that was included as well. Uh, and ooh, going camping again. What's this one? It's a Jeep. A couple of variants of this one, not many. Nineteen seventy seven, the copyright. Yeah, number fifty three. Yeah. Canopy comes off, but those lugs are quite fragile. You don't want to be doing that all day. Get away with it a few times, and then it'll break. One of them will break. Great little car. Well, not little by today's standards. All the cars seem to have shrunk. And last, but certainly not least, in this photo anyway, is this one. A lot of moving parts here too. They never bragged about it, did they? Hello. Back down there you go. Tuck them away. I was always miffed about how big the base was on this. But um, that's how they were, I think, in the States. Fire trucks to uh, politely push other vehicles out of the way, I think. Down those big wide roads. And to unpainted base. Yeah, they're all super fast. I don't know why. I thought some wouldn't have been, but um, super fast to me always means the racetrack stuff. And why would you put a caravan on a racetrack? I guess it was a demolition derby. 1977. It's the Snorkel fire engine. Hmm. I should weigh this thing now. You can see why the um, little plastic holes at the back were stretched. <laughs> Somebody put it on the wall and loaded that sucker up. But there you go. It's the Matchbox Collector Showcase from the late 70s. We'll just say late 70s. What do you think? I'm a bit worried about that glare on that thing. And that, uh, mm. Colours come out, but then they go all dark, don't they? Yeah. Oh well. Zoom in, put it on the big screen, whatever you do at home. Crack up in a beer and enjoy 22 minutes of absolute matchbox bliss. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.